Hi everyone, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. I know a lot of us love spending time on the driving range, so in order to get the most out of your practice session, I'll be sharing with you the do and don'ts on the driving range in order for you to get the most quality practice ever. Instead of hitting for hours on the driving range, I really believe in quality over quantity. So today I have designed a 60 minutes practice for you and hopefully this practice will be able to give you good results on the golf course. I see a lot of people when they get to the driving range, they will just pull out their 7 iron or their driver and start lashing away. I don't think that's a great idea, so I have broke down the 60 minutes practice into different parts. I would like for you to start off with the first 5 minutes with giving yourself a good stretch, okay? So let's get started with our stretch. So number one, I would like for you to start off with your wrist, okay? So you're gonna have your both elbows tucked to the side of the body and roll the wrist inwards. And let's do this about three times. And then we're gonna roll the wrist outwards for another three times. And then again, keep your elbow tucked to your side. Just roll the forearm inwards five times. Outwards five times, okay? And then Next, we're going to have your both thumbs point forward, thumb point forward, small circle forward for about five times, and then big circle forward about five times. And then you're going to change to pointing your thumb backwards, small circle backwards, and then big circle backwards. And then there's a lot of side bends in a golf swing, so you're going to make sure you work on the sides as well. So I would like for you to get any club you have and then just stretch your arms out and then bend side to side, okay? Just bend side to side. So it's about five times on each side. And then I would like for you to work on your forward bend as well. Both legs stay straight, just bend forward. Try to touch your toe, stretch it out as much as you can. Let's do it about five times. And then we're going to go into our body rotation, all right? Our body rotation, we need to get our body to understand what we, what we need it to do throughout this practice. So I'd like for you to set up with your club across your chest, right foot back, get into a set up position and rotate. So left shoulder goes down, right shoulder go up and turn. So we can do it slowly, all right? Do it slowly. Okay, do it about five times. Try to keep your balance. And then we're going to switch to the other side. Okay, left foot back and this will be for the follow through. Okay, the other way, right shoulder down, left shoulder up. Why we have one foot back is because we want to rotate and open up our hips as well. And that will be your five minute stretch. After a five minutes of good stretch, I'll move on to start hitting balls, all right? So in the next 10 minutes, I would like for you to focus on GASP, which is the grip, alignment, stance, and posture, okay? So just make sure you set up correctly. Have an alignment stick or a club between your legs so you know where the ball is set up, okay? So for, I would like for you to start off with about nine iron or pitching wedge. So you're gonna have the ball between, um, you're gonna have the ball right in the center of your stance, all right? Just make sure you set up correctly. If you've got everything sorted out, I would like for you to start off the practice with focusing on the show, body turn, okay? Body rotation, all right? Because if we don't do that, we're gonna start hitting with our hands and you're just gonna use your hands for the rest of your practice session. So we're gonna start off with half swings, okay? Half swings and focus on body rotation. Make sure you set up correctly and just focus on body rotation with half swing. Make sure when you do that, your hip and your chest is all facing towards the target at the follow through. And on your backswing, just gotta make sure that your, your chest is turned towards the right side with your right leg slightly extended, okay? Try to stay centered. Half swing.
Just spend 10 minutes just focusing on this, okay? Grip stance, alignment and posture. And just body rotation with half swings. When you start to get comfortable, you can actually lengthen the backswing as well. Okay, so just spend 10 minutes doing this. Okay, so we got 15 minutes done already. So in the next 15 minutes, I would like for you to focus on the mechanics. It could be anything that you're working with your coach or something that you'd be working by yourself, okay? So for me, in the next 15 minutes, I got my seven iron in my hand. I have been hitting a little bit steep recently. So that means I'm coming a little bit steep on the downswing, coming a little bit over the top. So today I will focus on pulling my right foot back a little bit and trying to swing it more from the inside. I'm gonna hit about 10 balls like that and gonna put I'm going to put my right foot back and start hitting normal again. So it could be anything that you're working on. Just spend 15 minutes working on the mechanics. Just going to make sure that you do it slowly, all right? That's no rush, okay? So I'm going to pull my right foot back for now. Something that I always want to work on. And make sure if you're practicing on any of your mechanics, anything technical, just got to make sure you swing smooth, all right? Don't try to hit hard because your body will not be able to catch up or understand what you want it to do. Caught that bit heavy. to use any training aids if you need okay or if you have any don't try to work on too many things in one day just try to focus on one thing And don't try to hit hard and hit fast at the beginning of the practice. If not, you're gonna get too tired after half an hour and won't be able to have a quality practice towards the end. In the first 30 minutes, we focus on the mechanics and the fundamentals of golf. And now I would like for you to practice on your aiming. So in the next 15 minutes, I would like for you to get a few different clubs from your back, get an alignment stick, try to aim at a target that you would like to hit. I have my seven iron in my hand. So I hit this about 140 meters. So if I hit it about 140 meters, I'm gonna pick a target about 140 meters away from me and, and I'm gonna aim at it. And we'll start hitting balls, hit about five balls at it and just gonna make sure that you keep changing your clubs, okay? After five balls, maybe you like to change to your five iron or your hybrid or even a shorter club or your wedge. That's fine as well. So. Cut that heavy. All right, just gonna make sure that before you hit every single shot, you're gonna check if you're aiming correctly and always have a look at your target so you know how it feels when you're aiming it correctly, okay? It's really important. So we are practicing on our aiming and also knowing our ball flight better. If you like to practice on different ball flight, that's fine as well. So if you like to hit a draw, you can aim slightly down the right side and try to draw the ball back towards the target. If you want to hit a fade, aim slightly down the left and try to fade the ball towards the target, that's fine as well. So you also work on controlling your distance. So after five balls of this, I would like to move on to hitting my hybrid. So I'm going to aim slightly down the right side because the flag on the right is a little bit further away. So I'm going to get my hybrid. Just going to make sure I aim 
the club at the flag that I want to hit. Okay, this is pretty good. So start practicing my hybrid. So a couple practice swing, just gonna make sure you take some practice swing when you change your club, okay? Make sure you have a look at your target before you hit the ball. All right, I drew that too much. Sometimes from the ball flight, you, also, you can also understand that if you're hitting it too hard or hitting it too slow. So just gonna make sure you try to hit the ball with the same rhythm and same tempo. So in this next, in this 15 minutes, just gonna make sure you focus on aiming and knowing your ball flight. So we're now done with the first 45 minutes of our practice. In the last 15 minutes of your practice, I would like for you to practice as if you are playing on the golf course, okay? So you're gonna pick about three to five holes, depends how fast you play. Three to five holes on your favorite golf course and try to imagine you're playing the holes. It could be any holes from the golf course, but you can start off with hitting your driver or you think that you're gonna hit a three wood off that tee, just practice that shot. And if you didn't, if you missed the drive or whatsoever and you have to hit a punch shot, then practice a punch shot. And then if you think that you're playing a par five, just gonna make sure, imagine if you hit a drive and then you hit a three wood, you might have a wedge in. Then just get your wedge and start hitting, practicing your wedge as well, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my driver. So whenever I hit my drive, I'm just going to imagine how wide the fairway. Try to pick targets and just going to make sure that you're going to hit between the two. Let's say I imagine those two poles out there will be my target, will be my fairway. So I'm going to try to hit it down the fairway. If I miss it a bit left or right, I might end up having to hit a draw shot or a fake shot. Okay. So I'm going to imagine that I'm playing a par four over here. It's a, start, it's a slight dock leg left par four. Okay, just gonna try to hit between the two poles. I hit that exactly between that two poles. Right, so I'm on a fairway. So the first hole in my mind is par four is quite short. So I assume that I have a nine iron in. And then I'm gonna pick a target over here. Let's say the red flag down there. Okay, imagine the pin is stuck up front today. I have my nine iron in. I'm gonna hit my nine iron. Make sure you take your practice swing. Work on the pre-shot routine as well, all right? Always gotta make sure you aim Aim small. All right, pick the smallest target you could. I would say that's what's on the green and hopefully I'll make the birdie putt or just two putt it and walk away with a par. So I'm gonna move on to the second hole right now. In my mind, this second hole is actually quite a long par four. So I'm gonna make sure I hit it solid down the fairway. Again, pick a target, okay? Couple practice swing, imagine you're standing on your tee box. Okay, hit that pretty good as well. But this is a really long par four. I assume that I have a hybrid in. So I'm gonna hit my hybrid for the second shot. And I'm gonna change my target, okay? I'm gonna aim down to the blue flag over here. 
I hit this about 175 yards. So I'm going to try to control this hybrid. I'm going to choke it down a little bit. Hopefully I get it 175 yards or about 160 meters. Oh, I hit that left. All right, so I hit that left. I assume that I have to hit about a 20, 30 meter chip. So I get my 58 degree and pick a target about 30 meters. So it's gonna be somewhere down there. So I'll pick that drain. Just imagine, I guess I got a safe pile over here. So we're gonna to try to hit it. 30 meters. So this is example how you play a few holes in your mind. So this practice will actually help you focus a lot better on the golf course because you only have one shot on the golf course, not like the driving range. So I think this will definitely help you focus better, aim better and score better. All right guys, make sure you take a break during your practice. Do not keep hitting nonstop, have some water and then come back when you're ready. I hope this video will give you an idea on how to have a quality practice in 60 minutes and I hope it will help you play better. So if you do like this video, please give me a like, let me know how your practice go and I'll see you guys again soon.